So at this point, uh, Carmichael won't train uh, with the team. We'll certainly keep him on a modified program, uh, but that's uh, more to do with his strength and conditioning and uh, keeping him t ticking over, but uh, he won't be training with the team uh, in this next period of time. I've spoken to him and uh, you know, certainly offered uh, my support to him. Um, you know, he's, uh, he's dealing with obviously a range of issues at the moment that are quite complex. And uh, you know, the, the thing about him is uh, you know, he's a strong character and uh, he's got a lot of good support around him. He's innocent until proven guilty. He's got a day in court next uh, Thursday. Uh, so the club, yeah, you know, and the club have always been very supportive of, of their players. And uh, at this point in time, we're offering him all the support that we can. Uh, you know, the news came through obviously late uh, for the team Friday. Uh, we prepared well for the game. We got the result that we wanted. We've now got a short turnaround. We fly out of the country Thursday morning. So, as a playing group, we're just uh, concentrating on on playing our next game against the Highlanders this weekend. We've only got two training sessions this week, so it's a t quick turnaround. You know, we're here to do a job, and that's to play rugby. And I think, as a playing group, um, the way we played on the weekend was, you know with a lot of character and um, we play with a lot of pride so you know we're, we're, we've addressed it last week briefly and we're just trying to move on. You can take a lot away from a performance like that. I think uh, you know, the character that we showed um, in gruelling conditions with bad preparation obviously and the way we performed under pressure was um, something that I'm proud of the boys and you know and sitting in that change room after the game was you know it was a great sight to see you know, a lot of boys put a lot of hard, hard work into that week. Um, a lot of hard training and, and we just wanted to repay the Queensland fans. <laughs>